Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm in the garage with the Suzuki GSX 8S and I'll be installing the Pro Day Pack tank bag from SW Motec. This model is their 5 to 8 liter version that cost $229.95 US at the time of this video. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, this bag might look familiar. I originally purchased this for my KTM 390 Adventure, but ended up trading in that bike for the 8S. In that video, I did cover some details about the tank bag that I won't be going over today, but I will put a card in the corner if you're interested in checking that one out. Luckily, I can still install this bag on the 8S by using a different tank ring that will fit the Suzuki, but more on that in a minute. This top ring is the piece that mounts to the bottom of the bag. This part is included with the bag purchase. There's also a guide rail on the bottom so you can adjust for the best fit on your specific tank. Here you can see the inside of the bag. It does have a rigid bottom because the top ring and the guide rails are mounted to the bottom of this bag. You can also see the quick release strap in red. With the bottom zipper closed, this has a five liter capacity. It can be expanded to eight liters if necessary. The SW Motec tank ring hardware to mount the bag to the bike is bike specific and is not included with this bag. So I purchased the Pro tank ring that I picked up for $37.95 US at the time of this video. I should also mention this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this equipment on my own at retail price. As always, I will put links to the parts in the description. Inside the box, we have the two-part tank ring and a bag of screws and spacers for the installation. Everything you need to install is included. To install the tank ring, the open side should face the direction that the gas cap opens. After lining this up, it looks like I'll have to remove the four screws that are closest to the rider position. Not all these screws are the same length, so I just need to pay attention to where these are coming from so that I install the new ones in the correct location. Now, I won't be reusing these screws for this install, but I'll be saving them just in case I ever revert back to stock. Here's a look at the stock screws on the left, as well as the mounting hardware that came with the kit on the right hand side. The first thing I need to do after removing the stock screws is to install the four spacers. Next, the bottom plate of the tank ring can be installed. The shorter flat-headed screws go closest to the handlebars. These screws need to be flat so that the second piece of the tank ring will sit flush. After doing a test fit of all the screws just to make sure that they fit properly, I will be putting some blue Loctite on these for the final install. Next, the sleeve nuts need to be installed. Now I did put a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads beforehand. The top of the tank ring will snap into place.
Finally, I'll test out my gas cap to make sure it works properly. The bag uses magnets to align to the tank ring, so the install is quick and easy. The last thing I want to check is that the handlebars clear the bag at full lock in each direction. Now since I've already tested this bag on my previous bike, I can tell you that I've been really impressed by the quality. I really like the fact that the bag mounts to the bike without needing straps. This quick release function was really a deciding factor when picking out this tank bag. Well, that's about it for this install today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful in some way. If you did, please click the like button and I'll catch you guys on the next video.